dermatology right now in West Hollywood. Okay, so we just did jawline filler. Do you notice a difference? It looks good, right? I got under eye filler like a year and a half ago and we got a little botched. So we're gonna dissolve some. <laughs> Scary, you guys learn from my mistakes. All right, my dear, you ready for this? I just got back home from my filler appointment and I have some packages that I received at my front door so I thought we could do a little unboxing together. First package is from Bite Beauty and they sent over some new soft matte lipsticks which I'm really excited to try. And these shades look so pretty. They're really nice warm mauve tones which is amazing for the fall and winter months. And then they also sent over a mascara and I love trying mascaras. Next up is a package from Lily Lashes. Lily Lashes has some of my favorite lashes. If you guys are a Tana Mojo fan, you guys know that Tana is the biggest hoe for Lily Lashes in the style Miami. These are literally the only lashes that she allows to touch her face. And I understand why, because they really are so good. So they restocked me up on a bunch of Miamis and then they also sent over a few other styles as well. I feel like I already know what this next package is and it's not a PR package, it's something that I bought. Skims! Yes! Skims was doing a huge Black Friday sale and naturally I gravitated towards everything that wasn't on sale. But I do think I remember buying a few items that were on sale. I don't deserve to be in charge of my own money, okay? I bought one of their bras for the first time. It definitely looks too small for my boobs, so we'll see about that one. This was on sale, I remember. Just like a black makeup bag that says Skims on it, but I just thought it was really cute. I got another bra as well, and this looks like it will actually fit my boobs. I got one of the robes as well, because you guys know how obsessed I am with the Skims pajamas right now, and it's the same material, and it's so freaking soft. I'm so excited to wear that and do my little skincare routine. And then lastly, I think this is what I'm most excited about. It's just like this super soft Sherpa material pullover. It's a super chocolatey brown shade, and you guys, I wish you could feel how soft this is like ugh, it's everything I want to get really real about fillers cosmetic procedures Botox things like that with you guys I want to be super transparent with you guys and I feel like I need to start off by talking about what procedures and work that I've had done 2018 was the very first time that I had any sort of filler or work done whatsoever and I got one syringe of filler in my lips and if you aren't super familiar with a syringe I feel like in my head before I really started to understand filler I thought a syringe was like so much filler but in reality a syringe really isn't that much and most of the time to really see a difference you have to do multiple syringes so my very first time I was so nervous I was like I don't want them to look fake like I want to look really natural so I just got one syringe and it pretty much did nothing and then in like 2019 is when I became addicted to lip filler I was literally going like every three to four months and getting a full syringe every single time in my lips and without it needing to be said I look back now and I'm like I looked fucking insane and my family would always tell me like I think you're going a little overboard but I was like oh my god you guys don't get it like I live in LA I don't live in Missouri anymore like this is what's cool this is what's trendy and now I look back and I'm like oh my god it literally looks like my lips got stung by 17 bees also around that same time is when I started doing Botox for the first time in my forehead and on the sides to kind of try to give like a little bit more of like a brow lift and then recently I started doing Botox in my chin as well because it kind of helps you know how whenever you make a kissy face sometimes it gets like wrinkly here like almost like cottage cheese chin it kind of helps to just like relax that muscle and make it more flat then 2020 is when I really started to experiment with a little more filler I got a little bit more comfortable with it. I wanted everything filled in my face. I'm not gonna lie And so the first thing after I got my lips done were my under eyes and I'm gonna be honest with you guys That is one of my biggest regrets to this day is getting my under eyes filled for a while there I was getting my filler done in Missouri because it's literally half the price as it is out here in Los Angeles And I was trying to save money and that right there red flag whenever you are doing anything to your face do not cut corners. The statement, you get what you pay for, is truly so accurate. And so I got my under eyes filled and I did half a syringe on each eye. And at first I thought that it looked really great. Well then, a year and a half later now, I've had it dissolved twice now and I'm still continuously getting it dissolved. I don't know how well you guys can tell on camera, but in person it's a lot more noticeable. My under eyes here are super hollow and then right here, it's super puffy. You can see where it literally like dents like a mountain on my face. And in the morning, you know how after you wake up and especially after a night where you've had a lot of salty foods, how your face, like certain features are a little bit swollen, like your lips and things like that. Whenever you have filler, I'm not sure the science behind it, but I feel like everything swells a little more. Every morning when I wake up, my lips are a little bit more swollen and puffy, but my under eyes in the morning, I literally look like the mom from a Cinderella story. How it's like she can't move her face and it's like so puffy and swollen. That's what I look like because of my botched under eye filler. I've only had my under eyes filled once but I've had them dissolved twice and I'm probably still gonna have to try and get them dissolved at least one more time, probably more. And another thing that I feel like isn't talked about enough is 
how expensive dissolving your filler is as well. Every time I've had to have my under eyes dissolved, I have had to pay $500. Now, that is a thousand total that I've spent dissolving my under eyes, which I will probably end up spending more than that. Keep in mind, I believe I paid $650, maybe $700 to have them filled in the first place. So I have now spent almost double that trying to get rid of it. And then the other two places that I've had filler, I've gotten my chin done twice. What this does is it kind of helps to elongate my side profile, so it helps to make everything look a little bit more defined. And then obviously I got a little bit of filler in my jawline on both sides as well. I only did half a syringe on each side, so it really isn't that much, and it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Over time, if I really want to sharpen out my jawline, I can add more. But one really great piece of advice that I have for you guys is if you're considering getting any sort of filler, do it gradually. Don't do it all at once. Really build up to the place that you're wanting to go. For me, I kind of just jumped into it and I was like, no, I want to do it all at once. Like, I don't want to wait for results. Like, I want it to be like, boom, overnight, make me into a Hadid. And I don't think that at the time, sometimes you really comprehend that all of these little things can really change your appearance drastically over time, especially if you're just going balls to the wall like that. I'm actually really happy with the results of my chin and jawline. I feel like that's really made a positive difference. Listen, no tea, no shade. If you want to fill your lips, if you don't, want to if you want to do Botox filler whatever it is or if you don't that is completely fine whatever makes you happy I am not against filler Botox procedures anything like that in any way I just want to help you guys to not make the mistakes that I made because these are very serious things and you think that it's not gonna last forever you think that 10 years from now it's still gonna look amazing but I just wish that whenever I started doing filler and Botox and some of these different things that I had someone on the internet telling me what I'm telling you guys today and I might not have made some of the mistakes that I did and so I just want to be really real and authentic with you guys listen I'm still probably gonna get filler I'm definitely gonna get Botox I'm not against it in any way I have just learned to definitely do my research from now on anyway thank you guys so much for coming to my TED talk I hope that at least one of you guys found this information useful